Thanks for stopping by. This is Two Minute Classroom, and today we're talking about polymerase chain reaction, or PCR as it's more commonly known. First, let's talk about what PCR is and how it works, and then I'll give some examples of what PCR is used for. PCR is a technique used to amplify or copy small specific segments of DNA. For PCR to be successful, you need the DNA sample you want copied, DNA primers to identify the specific sequence of DNA you want to amplify, lots of raw nucleotides to form the DNA copies, and a heat-resistant DNA polymerase to make the new copies. This all goes into a special stable solution. Once all the ingredients are in, you run the solution through many temperature cycles until you reach the amount of DNA copies needed. There are three steps to this cycle. Step one is denaturation. The solution is heated, allowing complementary DNA strands to separate so that all the DNA in solution is single-stranded. Step two is annealing. The solution is cooled so that the DNA primers can bind to the specific region of DNA you are interested in. Step three is extension. The temperature is raised so that the DNA polymerase can bind and perform the necessary operation of synthesizing new DNA strands. This cycle is repeated about 30 times, takes about 3 hours, and creates over 1 billion copies. So what is PCR actually used for? PCR has many research-based and practical applications. It's used for DNA mapping, like in the Human Genome Project. It's used to check sections of DNA for genetic testing to determine potential disorders. Companies like 23andMe and Ancestry.com use PCR to run personal DNA tests. And my favorite application for PCR is in forensics. Whenever a crime is committed, the perpetrator almost always leaves their DNA at the crime scene. This could be hair, semen, skin, or even blood, for example. Investigators search for this evidence and, thanks to PCR, can amplify the DNA and compare it to the DNA of suspects. This genetic information is then put into the FBI's DNA database, CODIS. But it gets even better. Investigators have been able to take DNA evidence from crimes committed long before CODIS was put together and run it through the current system. This has solved many cold cases and also exonerated prisoners who had been wrongfully accused, even some that were on death row. Needless to say, PCR is one of the most important scientific advances ever. And now you know why. If you have additional questions, I'll do my best to answer those in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my other great videos, and I'll catch you next time.